to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will focus on the labour market. The labour market is made up of households who supply their labour and firms who demand workers. Wages and salaries are income for households, but they are a cost to firms. While in general the labour market operates through the market forces of supply and demand, there are also some other groups that affect the labour market as well. The government sets national minimum and living wages that are the least you're allowed to pay workers. In addition, trade unions that represent workers seek to increase wages and improve working conditions for their members. The two main types of income that workers receive are a wage or a salary. A wage is an amount paid per hour, usually paid out on a weekly basis. A salary is a yearly amount that's normally paid on a monthly basis. Wages are far more common in low-skilled jobs and salaries in professional occupations. The labour market relies on the exchange of information between the firms that wish to seek employees and the people who are looking for a job. Firms will advertise the jobs they have available and they will list things like location, pay rate, skills needed, qualifications needed and experience required. Different jobs will have a different level of geographical reach. If you look at the three example jobs here, we might see someone move across even the world to take a position as a senior director and head of product management, but we'd be less likely to see that for the IT tech support job which is probably going to appeal to local people. If a potential worker likes the look of a job advertisement, then they're likely to fill in a job application and provide the potential employer with all the information they will need. This will include information such as their personal details, education, qualifications, skills, and any experience they might have. After reviewing all of the applications they receive, a firm's top choices will then generally be invited in for interview. During this process, both the employee and employer can make sure that the job is a really good match for both. The labour market is said to lack perfect mobility. What this means is that in a lot of cases, workers cannot simply switch from one job to another. There can be a number of reasons for this. A major problem lies in the fact that skills for different jobs are very different. You couldn't expect someone who's lost their job as a minor to instantly start becoming a computer programmer because they wouldn't know the required skills to be able to do so. Some workers are unwilling to relocate to where work may be available. This may be due to family reasons or it could be because they own property in one particular area and don't wish to move away to another area where they wouldn't be able to afford the same things. Others may have a preference for certain types of jobs or to live in a particular region. In some cases, job roles are not filled because those that are seeking work don't know where to go to find that work. However, this is less of a problem with the increasing use of online job advertising. That brings us to the end of this video introducing the labour market. Join me again soon when I'll be looking at how we analyse the determination of wages through the market forces of supply and demand. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics, and until next time, it's bye for now.